what I believe is just as an example to all of us, the Queen made a huge difference. I never discussed with her equal pay or sex discrimination or, you know, any of the laws that changed during the 20th century. But I know she was aware of it. When I saw her when I went to Buckingham Palace to be made a dame, she said to me, oh, you know, Jenny, it's such a shame that Woman's Hour has moved from the afternoon to the morning. I can't listen to you nearly as often as I used to because I'm so busy in the morning. So I know she was very aware of all these political questions that women were grappling with throughout my, you know, I was born in 1950. She was there right the way through my life until today. And she was aware of what was going on. And she has actually made a real difference. You know, she changed the succession. So you didn't have to have a, an heir and a spare who was male. You can now have an heir and a spare who is female. You could even have an heir who is female, the first born to a monarch. Of course, we're a bit past that stage. Uh, that's not going to happen for quite a while. But she changed the rules of succession. She kept her own name. She insisted that she and her children should be Windsor. Uh, Prince Philip obviously was not too pleased about that. I think he said he was the only man in Britain who was not allowed to give his children his own name. But, you know, these examples, example after example after example, she was just there doing a job, working really hard, bringing up her kids. And that was a tremendous influence on the way we women began to see ourselves. Also, on the divorce question, my first marriage, sadly, went really rather long, wrong towards the end of the 70s. And I wouldn't have dared tell my mother that I was thinking of getting a divorce. We both were thinking of getting a divorce. And then the Queen allowed Princess Margaret to have a divorce. And I then said to my mum, look, you know, Princess Margaret's getting a divorce. Brian and I are not too happy. We're, we're thinking maybe of getting a divorce. Um, how would you feel about that? She said, oh, well, if Princess Margaret's done it and the Queen approves, that's OK. She had enormous influence. She did. She did. And Jenny, just one other uh, point I wanted to touch on. Uh, her service during World War II as a member of the Auxiliary Territorial Service. It's so often overlooked, but it's something that's very uh, precious in my life because my grandma was also a member of the ATS. And you're right, they didn't view themselves as feminists because they joined the ATS. They viewed it as a necessary part of protecting our homeland uh, from the threat of Nazi Germany and, and Adolf Hitler, but it was still incredibly significant, was it not? It was incredibly significant. My mother wanted to join the WAF. My mother was exactly the same age as the Queen. Unfortunately, she died quite a long time ago. She wanted to join the WAF, you know, the, the Women's Air Force, and my grandmother wouldn't let her. My grandmother absolutely stamped her feet and said, no, there's no way you're going to do that and, and be in uniform and behave like a man. Uh, but the Queen did it, even though her father... <coughs> excuse me. Her father had objected. <coughs> and, of course, she learned to drive and she became a mechanic. My mother learned to drive when I was 15 and only because I persuaded her it was essential for a woman to drive. And she said, well, I suppose the Queen does it, so maybe that's OK. Indeed.